Much like an iceberg, the bulk of the penis remains hidden from the world, making it look smaller. But it doesn't have to be that way. In this video, I'll explore just how much size you're missing out on, and the science that can get you penis gains by spot reducing fat. Let's dive into some cool science which could melt away your insecurities and literally make it bigger without surgery. You might be surprised to learn just how much lies beneath the surface, and how much could be available to you. What do I mean? Pioneering studies using MRI scans of couples having sex, which are covered in another video, found that a third of the erect penis is under the skin, showing it's much bigger than previously thought. But just beneath the skin's surface, the shaft is hidden by a layer of fat, creating the illusion of a shorter length. As you gain weight, your fat cells grow in size across your body, and this also happens to the layer of fat at the base of the penis. As someone gains weight, they literally lose length. Studies have found that BMI and weight increase leads to a reduction in the length of both the flaccid and erect penis. This is why people often say that skinny men have larger penises. In some men, the buildup of fat can become so bad that it leads to a condition called buried penis, where most of the shaft is hidden and you might only barely see the tip, creating a heavy psychological burden. And this condition is spreading as waistlines grow with the obesity epidemic. Even if men are not clinically diagnosed with this condition, whether overweight or an average build, Fat accumulation in this region can diminish size and cause similar psychological effects. The optimistic take is that this means that losing fat can also make you bigger. For real uncensored before and after pics where people gain size by losing weight, you can go online to places like the appropriately named subreddit r slash weight loss dick gains. But if you want to know how much hidden length is available to you specifically, that's easy. Following the guide outlined in my other video, compare the length from the base to the tip with the length when you push the measuring tape into the pubic bone. The difference shows what you could gain by losing weight, or spot reducing fat just in that area. I have videos that can help you lose weight, but how can you lose fat in a specific area like this? Weight loss is a bit like deflating a balloon that has a chiselled statue inside. It deflates everywhere at once, and you can't control which areas become exposed and when. What we need is targeted fat reduction, which is more like a sculptor meticulously carving away at a block of marble with a chisel to reveal a masterpiece. Until recently, the only way to do this was going under the knife with surgeries like liposuction, where fat is physically pulled out of the target area. But that is incredibly risky. This led researchers to develop an alternative, the groundbreaking procedure you might have heard of, cryolipolysis. Cryolipolysis literally means using cold to break down fat. It's also known as fat freezing, or by the brand name Cool Sculpting. Cryolipolysis was first approved by the FDA in 2010, and has since become the most common non-invasive treatment for fat reduction. How it works is simple. Fat cells are more vulnerable to cold temperatures than other cells. This increased sensitivity means we can selectively target and cold shock fat cells without harming the skin, nerves, or muscles. Cold shock causes inflammation in the fat layer, leading to phagocytosis and resorption of the fat cells, meaning your immune system eats the fat cells. This means reducing the layer of fat cells without harming the surrounding tissue. This leads to a cosmetically significant reduction in the fat layer, by as much as 20-25% to on average. The risks are low and the satisfaction rate is high, although there may be some asymmetry or surface irregularity, like taking too much marble off one side of your statue and needing to balance it out on the other side. However, in about 1 in 20,000 patients, the fat cells might paradoxically increase, and this is three times more likely in men than women. Still, this is a relatively safe, non-invasive procedure that doesn't need anaesthetic and requires no downtime, unlike surgery. The results are long-lasting and can be seen in just a few weeks, with sessions spaced a few months apart. With all of this in mind, what surprises me most is that it took this long for doctors to try using this to increase penis size. The study we spotlight today demonstrates the efficacy of this technique in a remarkable way, using cryolipolysis to effectively enhance visible penis size by spot reducing that layer of pubic fat. In this study, published in 2021, Doctors recruited 46 men that came to their clinics complaining about short penises with marked pubic fat, with 40 completing three successive treatment sessions. The men included a range of ages and weights, making the results representative. They were between 26 to 55 years old with a mean age of 37. 12.5% were a normal healthy weight, 37.5% were overweight, and half were obese. Their penile dimensions were measured at baseline in the flaccid stretch state, which accurately predicts erect size. They measured their true bone press length with fat moved out of the way, their apparent length, and the thickness of the pubic fat pad. 
what you might notice is that the average true length was actually, well, average, at 13.1 centimeters, or 5.2 inches. The shortest true length recorded was only 12.2 centimeters, or 4.8 inches. The longest true length was 14.3 centimeters, or 5.6 inches. Like most penis augmentation studies, the men involved are actually a normal size. At baseline, the average thickness of the fat pad was about 3 cm, and the average apparent length was 12.1 cm. The procedure took about 30 to 60 minutes for each session, with sessions at least 21 days apart. They present results at session 3 and compared this against baseline, which means the results are actually the product of just two rounds of treatment. The results? There was an improvement after each session. For the group overall, the mean apparent stretch length increased from 12.1 to 12.88 cm at the third session, which was statistically significant. Likewise, the mean fat pad thickness decreased from 2.99 cm to 2 cm, also significant. These results are on par with liposuction surgery. For each man, they compared baseline apparent length to his third session. These men saw a mean increase of 0.89 cm, or an average increase of 12% in apparent penis length and a decrease in fat pad thickness of 1.1 cm, or 33.1%. This is pretty impressive. You can actually see the difference in fat pad thickness in one of the before and after photos for one of the obese men. But we can actually dig deeper into the data. Can everyone expect these sorts of gains? For apparent length, these results seem pretty skewed by some men experiencing bigger changes. Comparing the mean, median, range, and interquartile range percentage changes tells us a lot. The average, or mean, increase was 12%, but half of men only saw an increase of up to a median of 6%, with a quarter of all men, 10 in that group of 40, seeing an increase of 3.3% or less. At the other end, a quarter saw an increase between 6 to 15.9 cm, and the remaining quarter of men were hyper-responders, gaining more than 15.9% in apparent length. Bearing in mind this skew in results, all patients were still satisfied. So what affects how much you can gain? The doctors found a strong positive association between the percentage increase in penile length and the weight of the patient, which was statistically significant. Which makes sense. The more weight you have, the more fats you probably have, and therefore the more you have to lose during a session in that area. However, five men, or 12.5%, experienced what are called contour irregularities. This is where the fat isn't deleted uniformly, causing one part to look skinnier than the other. This is treated in further sessions, which we can see in their study where at least one man had five sessions. How safe was the procedure? In this study, no serious complications were observed. The side effects included mild discomfort during the procedure, which makes sense. This is in sharp contrast to liposuction, which comes with a risk of severe complications and even death. The mortality rate for liposuction may be as high as 1 in 1,000 people. But do results last for fat freezing? Cryolipolysis studies on other parts of the body, like the love handles, have found average reductions of up to 25% six months after a single treatment, and, based on case reports where only one love handle was treated, it looks like this fat reduction is permanent, with no proof that destroyed fat cells can return. While this penis fat freezing study is just a single study in 40 men, and it doesn't have a control group, cryolipolysis of the pubic fat seems safe and effective for increasing apparent visible and functional penis size for men of all ages and weight classes, even after just two sessions. I expect that there'll be a lot more studies published on this soon. How much does it cost? It's surprisingly cheap, especially if you're just looking to treat small areas of fat. You'll be charged per session, with the price depending on the number of sessions, the body part, and the treatment area size. So you should lose weight first, and then think about cryolipolysis to finish the look. Price will also be affected by the experience and qualifications of the person carrying it out, whether they're a licensed doctor or a technician at a spa, and where you're getting it done. For example, a single session could be thousands of dollars in New York, a few hundred dollars in India, or a few hundred pounds in London. You can shop around and find something in your budget, although fat freezing your pubic area would be a very unusual request. You might have an easier time going to a dermatologist or urologist than a spa. It should go without saying, but don't do this at home to try and save money, as that's risky, not temperature controlled, and you could give yourself frostbite. Leave it to a trained professional. If you wanted a quality marble statue, you'd get a professional sculptor in, rather than do it yourself. It is your body after all. The best course of action is to start with losing weight, and only consider cryolipolysis once you're happy with your body size. Remember that behind each statistic and graph in a study like this, lies a real man trying to confront deeply rooted insecurities that many men grapple with, often in silence. It's a story of triumph and rediscovered self-assurance, 
By offering a non-invasive solution to a concern that weighs heavily on a majority of men, cryolipolysis not only enhances physical appearance, but also acts as a way to take control and be a catalyst for a psychological transformation. But it's not the only way to safely and effectively increase penis size, and you might be surprised to learn how your penis size really compares to other men. To find out more, watch this next.